I decided I would do a TC2 video today, and by my voice, I'm sick while recording this, so don't mind that. But essentially, I want to make a TC2 video saying the five most underrated words, and if you disagree with any of these, you're wrong. That's 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 it. You're legally wrong. Some of the weapons in TC2 receive a bit too little love than deserve. Most people would just glaze over them, not knowing their true potential, never even giving them a try. Here, I will state the five most underrated weapons, in my opinion, that you should definitely Try. What I mean by underrated is that they are not used as much as is deserved and need some recognition by the community. The way I rank them is by how underrated they are. So 5 is a bit underrated, but 1 is extremely underrated. So with that over the way, let's get into the list. 5. Quickie Bomb Launcher Essentially how it works is that you trade a bit of damage and half your clip size for extremely quick placing. I won't be bothered to list the stats, so here they are on the screen. This weapon is extremely unfavorable for sticky spamming, as you can only place 4 stickies, so it favors a more offensive playstyle using the quickie bomb more like a primary than a second, using it all the time and swapping out your primary for something like Squire Boots or Galloway Greaves if you plan to sticky jump. 4. The Sub Shotgun the sub shotgun is simple, you get 2 less shots in your clip and near to no healing from healers, but each time you get a kill, a medium health pack is dropped, which heals you for 150 HP. This is another option of the shotgun for fat flanker, making it a sort of niche weapon for a funny subclass. It is most useful when you don't have a competent doctor on your team, or if you are in need of some help so you jump scare some poor flanker to get 150 HP. It's a pretty niche weapon, but I still enjoy using it. 3. The Noisy Cricket I really don't see enough people running the Noisy Cricket thinking it's some trash downgrade of the pistol. So, how does it work? First, the upside. 70% of damage dealt is returned as metal, 40% more accurate. This makes it a very fast way to regain some metal, and if you can aim well, then you can hit every shot because of the accuracy buff. However, the downsides change this completely. 50% less clip size, 50% less max ammo, meaning it deals some damage but quickly runs out of ammo. However, the reload is quite quick, not making this much of an issue. This weapon is really good when spawn camping or maintaining a sentry in a busy place, because it helps with taking out the enemy, but also provides a lot of metal. 2. The Efficient Eliminator this marksman primary allows you to play extremely aggressively with the 25 faster charge speed and no speed penalty when zoomed in. This just means you can kind of quick scope people. The downsides are a big problem though. Loose scope on full charge, 50% zoom reduction, 20% less damage. Damage starts at zero when charging. This weapon entirely relies on flicks and good aim because if you don't hear headshots then you basically don't deal any damage. It forces you not to camp but rather be just behind the front lines picking off enemies. You have a 0.5 second time period where you actually deal some damage, so during that time you have to click ahead or you'll be scoping again. 1. The Wooden Sword I would be doing the Wooden Sword injustice if I didn't feature it in this video. It's simply very good. You trade damage for the ability to mark people for death, meaning all the damage they take is increased by 35% and they are visible from basically all over the map because of the big skull above their head. There's not much point in hitting someone with the wooden sword twice because it doesn't do much damage, so after the first hit you, s you switch to your primary and destroy them. Okay, so that rounds up the video. Like, sub, and all that cool stuff. See you next time!